Brian coming at you again today. Gonna do an update on all my tanks, so bear with me. This video will be pretty long, but um, I uh, have got some changes, some things uh, to show you, stuff like that. So um, we'll check it out. Um, before I get started, just make sure that you go over uh, to Aquatic Support Community's Facebook page and uh, also Aquatic Support Systems Facebook page check those out click the like button join the group and uh, enjoy um, also at the end of the video too um, or at the bottom of the description part of this video here you'll see a, a, a bunch of links for all the members of team aquatic support uh, make sure you go check out their um, YouTube channels as well but um, I'll start today with the 90 gallon discus tank um, you didn't get a reflection um, here but uh, this tank has really been filling in nicely lately, and, and I'm really digging how it's turning out. Um, the uh, the S Repens carpeting has really um, has really um, started to uh, fill in nicely, um, and um, the Blixa Japonica um, along the top and, and down here is uh, really looking nice. Um, the AR Mini um, is looking good too. And by the way, shout out to Sean Williams. I uh, I bought this uh, AR Mini from him at a really good price. The red plant here. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but um, um, the initials are AR, and then it's the mini version of it. Real nice red plant. Um, likes highlight and CO2. But uh, go check out Sean Williams' YouTube channel as well. Um, he's got uh, some real nice stuff going on over there. So shout out to Sean. Um, the four discus in this tank are doing great. Um, the two red covers, the uh, the uh, Reflection D, and then uh, I believe it's a blue Scorpion. Um, the uh, Cardinal Tetras are doing good. Uh, so everything's doing good in this tank. Uh, really, really digging it lately. Uh, the 150 gallon, eh, it's doing all right. The Blix is doing good. The discus are doing all right. Um, having some problems. I had a um, a melt with the uh, with the S Repens carpet on this tank, um, and uh, still battling some algae problems in here. So I'm not going to uh, really get in, get any close ups for you, um, in hopes that uh, you can't see it. <laughs> but uh, so that's what's going on there. Um, down below. We've got one of the two red cherry shrimp tanks. Um, I just fed them a little bit ago, so they're in the petri dish eating. Tons of shrimp in here. Adults, shrimplets, everything. Bunch of shrimplets on the back wall. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't know. 50 plus shrimp in this tank probably when you see them all out. They're still coming towards the uh, food at this point, so they're not all out in front and center, but... So it's doing good. Got some Taiwan moss. Um, had some existing stuff, and then I uh, picked some up from uh, Lup Diesel um, as well. So check out his channel too if you're looking to buy shrimp. Uh, he's really got quite the operation going on there. Um, over here, the other red cherry tank. Uh, they're out eating as well. A lot of dead snails in here. Not much going on plant-wise in this tank. I might do something with it here after the first of the year. Just haven't uh, done much as far as trying to make this one look nice, but that is that. Um, over here is the five gallon blue pearl shrimp tank. They're in the petri dish eating and all over the place. Tons of shrimp in this tank too. It's looking decent. Got some oiko stone in there, some uh, pearl weed and some java moss. We will head out into the next room here. 
that. This is the Red Devil tank. Uh, we got glare, so I'm gonna go over to this side. Um, I ended up putting all five of my Red Devils into this tank now since I last showed it, just because I needed to make some room downstairs. And I've got uh, three of the five up for sale. Um, we had a spawn over here. As you can see, the parents are going to start freaking on me. Um, I, you can't see the eggs, but they spawned in this pot uh, two nights ago, or two days ago, whatever. And uh, they're keeping everybody at bay over here now. Uh, this pair over here, um, they're due to spawn again pretty soon. Uh, the loaches are doing good. Um, yeah, everything seems to be doing well in this tank. All right, so we'll uh, head downstairs. All right, so first thing as we get downstairs uh, is this beast, Hoga Boomerum. This guy's real name is Thanatos. Um, that was the name he was given to when I got, or that was the name he was given already when I got him. This is becoming my wife's favorite fish, and uh, we kind of nicknamed him Pork Chop. Doing well. He's the lone inhabitant of this tank, other than a common pleco in there. Uh, Spectabilis up here. I'm not sure if I've shown these guys yet on a video. Sorry about that. That was the dryer buzzer. I'm not sure if I've shown these guys on the vid on a video yet, but I've got a Spectabilis male and female. Got them divided right now. Picked them up at a really good price. Uh, these are F1s from Raps. This guy's a little skittish, um, but at times uh, he really colors up nicely and is kind of interactive with me. Right now he's not. Uh, the female's a lot more interactive, um, showing her colors a lot most of the time compared to him. And then over here is one of these uh, one of these guys that I still have. Um, we will head over, I guess we'll just kind of go around the room. Up here is the res Redis, Redis latest tank. Um, with the male back in the pot there, looking stellar. Um, trying to figure out which of these would be females so that I can, I think this one might be. Um, so that I can try to pair them off and, and get the re get rid of the rest of them in this tank. But um, I'm not sure if I even have done a video since I got this, but this is a 75 gallon now instead of the 40 that was up there before. Uh, down below here we've got the uh, Red Really tank. Sorry about the glare there. Let's see a few of them. It's a problem when you have all these tanks with lights um, in one room. Get a lot of glare. Not much going on there. A bunch of Java moss, frog bit, and red root floaters. Um, these are the uh, Gorilla's Black Umbi Growouts. I've got like seven, eight, or I don't know, seven or eight of them in there. I'll be selling these guys off soon. There. All of them are at least an inch. Some of them are inch and a half, two inch. Carbon really tank next door here. There's a few of them feeding on a piece of food right there. Boy, I'm really sorry about this glare. Got some uh, peacock moss in there, some subwasser tang, and obviously a bunch of floaters, frog bit and red root again. Next door, same thing. Uh, this is the CRS crystal red shrimp tank. And uh, I have successfully gotten these guys to breed now. Uh, let's see if we can find a few shrimplets. Uh, the algae is really bad on this side of the tank over here. I don't know if you can see it, but under there's a shrimplet I'll try to zoom in on. Right there. There's a bunch. Oh, here's a bunch of them. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, especially with the glare, but there's a bunch of them. 
hanging out in that area right there. So that's cool, pretty happy about that. Down below, 75 gallon planted. Not much going on with that, just uh, kind of a grow out tank for uh, plants that I want to bring up into the other tanks or plants that I'll sell. So if you're interested uh, in anything, I got a bunch of Blixa and uh, the main things in here right now that I got a bunch of extra is the Rotala Rotundifolia and the Limnophilia Aromatica. Got this Java Fern here too I'm looking to get rid of, but uh, anyway, let me know. Um, the original Hogas, El Guapo and Heartbreaker, got them divided right now. Um, they did spawn, or tried to spawn last, about a week ago, over the weekend. Um, she laid eggs and he looked like he was fertilizing them. And this time what I tried to do different was I separated them as soon as uh, that was all done, thinking that maybe the problem was him. Uh, same thing as the last few times that they did spawn. Um, she ended up eating the eggs after a few days. Um, but there was a bunch of them in the pot, um, so not sure what the deal is with that. Close up of him here, Mr. El Guapo. She's healing up a little bit too. I divided them obviously when they spawn, but I figure I'll just leave them divided for a while so that her fins can heal up. He's really rough on her. We'll see if I end up keeping these guys or doing something different with them, but um, up here where the Umbi grow it's used to be now, what I've got is um, I separated out the main, the best looking male, right here his name's Warpaint, guy is just awesome looking. And then I put two females in there for the time being. Just to kind of see what would happen and as you can see <laughs> there's kind of a fight for dominance between the two females but um he did spawn with her uh two two or three days ago not a huge clutch of eggs but there are eggs there now um ever since then he's been spending all this time over with her she's all colored and blonded up um and her tube is starting to come down so i don't know what's going to happen there um, doesn't really matter. Um, these are all related, so I'm not going to be um, continuing to pair them up. I just wanted to separate out the, the good specimens and uh, give them a chance to learn, I guess, uh, about the birds and the bees with each other. <laughs> um, but this female is actually the, the best female I've got. Um, she's kind of got the, uh, the freckling like he does. Um, up in the face, the, uh, the kind of the war paint look, which is why I called him war paint. That was actually a suggestion by uh, Jason, so thanks a lot if you're watching this video, bud. But anyway, um, so that's what's going on with those zombies. Um, next door here, we've got uh, another one of these guys, um, and then the other Hoga pair. Still no spawning. They still look like they're gonna all the time. But they haven't. Triton here is just a beast. Just an awesome fish. And uh, Pandora, she's right here. Not too bad either. Still a little nipped up. He's kind of rough on her. And then uh, this guy over here, <laughs> really like this fish, really, really like this fish. These, uh, this is another one of the My Devils. See if I can get him to come out. See if I put my hand at the top of the tank. I don't think it's feeding time. He, they, the Hogas kind of keep him at bay back here, but they don't really do any damage to him. But, uh... Get you a look at him. Anyway, he's not going to want to cooperate right now. So, uh, down here, what I've got going on is uh, two umbies that I'm trying to pair up. This is Thorson, the male back there. 
now he's going to be behind the wood, but um, that is uh, an F1 from uh, Mike Mann's old Umbi Thor. If you guys uh, watch his channel, um, he, he hasn't had them now for at least a year, I think, but uh, beast of an Umbi, so I'm excited about this guy. Um, at first, he wasn't looking like he was going to be all that great looking, but now that he's been put in the tank with a female, um, his colors are really really coming out. I don't know if you can see it, especially on the fins. Um, but I've got this female in here. Um, this, uh, this came from Mike's fish room too, um, just to kind of see what uh, will happen with uh, Thorson. Um, this is uh, one from the general line, if I'm not mistaken. And um, I most of the time have these guys divided. Every few days I take the divider out and let them get acquainted with each other. It usually ends in some pretty vicious um, lip locking after a few hours. Today has gone the best so far and uh, it's been a few hours and they haven't started doing it yet. So I just keep my eye on them, see what happens. She's not as colored up right now as she is or was even just a few, I don't know, like an hour ago. But she gets really nice and blonde looking when she's uh, over with him. Um, what I've got left of the um, Umbi Growouts are up here in this 75 gallon. This may be new to you guys too. I had a 55 up there before. Got some nice looking ones in here. The light isn't real good so they look kind of washed out plus they're on, um, they're over sand. But um, there's a little aggression going in, going on in here. A few nipped up fins, things like that. Uh, one of them came up dead the other day. One of the smaller ones. But I've got, you know, anything from like two and a half, three inches, all the way up to five, maybe six inches in this tank. Um, these are all F1 uh, Rio mags from uh, Magnus. So nice looking fish. Not sure yet what's going to happen with these, but. Um, below I've got Big Sexy still hanging out here. He's developed some sort of a growth. You can see on his side there. Talked to Conway about it and sounds like it's just something that'll be there with him. I'm um, in this tank. Uh, light's really poor, but I've got another Umbi. Back towards the back of the tank that I picked up last week. He's uh, pretty skittish in this. Um, I'm just quarantining him for a few, I don't know, a couple weeks before I uh, decide to put him in one of my other tanks. Um, nice looking Umbi, but um, can't really see him. These are the Midas Growouts. Uh, I probably told you about in my last video. Got some that are really starting to turn orange now, just starting to grow. These guys eat like pigs. They also poop like pigs, as you can see. And then what's left of the Venustus rollouts. Um, if anybody wants Venustus, let me know. I'm looking to just get rid of all these at a really, really good price. Um, I'm done with them. Don't need them anymore. So um, let me know. And then the 75 gallon planted down below. Same thing as across the, the way. Um, Growout stuff that I'm either putting into um, tanks upstairs or selling off. Got some high growth sunset in there, some uh, some nice Anubi pieces of Anubius uh, Bartari, Bartari, however you pronounce it, and then a few pieces of Anubius Nana, some Blixa, a real nice uh, tiger, I don't know if this is a tiger lily or a tiger lotus, I'd have to look up the shape, but uh, looking to get rid of that too, so if anyone's looking for one of those. And then some, uh, some water sprite back there too, so... Anyway, um, that is about all that's going on right now. I'll show you guys this beast again. He's really nice looking. Um, thanks for watching. Um, just want to thank everybody too that subscribes and that watches my videos. I recently hit 3,800 subscribers, and uh, it's just crazy when I think about it. I never ever thought that. Uh, I would get anywhere near that, but it's pretty cool. And I've really noticed an increase in my views lately too, which means a lot. It means, I mean, 
anyone can subscribe to a channel, but when people are viewing your videos, that's that's really nice. So I appreciate that, guys. Thanks always for watching. Um, let me know if you have any questions. If you're uh, I'm wondering about anything in the fish room. Um, and I will try to start getting videos up a little bit more frequently other than just uh, kind of a monthly fish room update. I've been slacking on that now for a few months. It used to be a lot more frequent on YouTube, but just been busy. Busy at work, busy, busy working in the fish room, and the videos have just kind of been the odd man out, I guess. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, and we'll talk to you next time.